This next effect is called delay. It is more commonly recognized as being an echo. Um, it, once more, it's a very obvious effect and you'll understand it when you hear it. So let's go hear it. For this example, I've isolated the first bass drum hit of the Amen break. <clears throat> I have the effect in channel 2, and here is the delay bank I had using this off to, ex to first show you how it sounds. <clears throat> That's how it sounds by itself. I put the, put the delay on, <clears throat> as you can see, it puts in the echo. The fruity delay bank show, has options, it has eight different banks you can use to do different delays, and it just has the first one on right now. The main thing you want to look at here is the time changer. The time changer is automatically set to three beats, and then you can set it to two, which would make it faster and more even. And you can do it to one, which makes it sound like you're doing a run. You can set it to really high, like if you set it to up here, it'll hit one, and it'll hit it again a measure later. It has the offset section here, which will pan it either direction, like that. If you actually set it to ping pong, it'll actually rotate left and right, and the uh, the offset will make it more left and right, and really just have this awesome panning effect, making it really stereo. Uh, the separation here makes it the difference how much stereo it is. If you have it on a negative 100%, it'll be perfectly mono. If you have it on 100%, it'll be left and right fully. And there's, there's also filters on the delay bank, as we just described in the last section, so you can actually apply filters to your feedback. <laughs> 